Hey folks, Bobby Phillips with Phillips Pest Control. Uh, today I'm going to show y'all how to treat your home for bed bugs. Um, I really always recommend it, you know, I recommend to anybody get a professional to do it for you. But if you're bound and determined you're going to do something yourself, um, you need to do uh, your treatment with the proper chemicals, um, dust, whatever, you know, it needs to be labeled for bed bugs. Um, you need to read that label. The label is the law. Read your label, know what you're applying, know how to apply it. Um, if you do a treatment and you don't do it properly, you're just throwing your money away. I can't tell you the times that I've had people call us and say, well, I've spent X amount of dollars, sometimes in the hundreds of dollars, and it hadn't helped a bit. Well, if you don't do the treatment properly, it's not going to help. Um, so make sure, you know, a lot of things are labeled for bed bugs, but they do not work. I can tell you that right now. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, you'll see the signs out by the road at your hardware store says, this is guaranteed overnight to kill everything in the county. Well, it ain't going to do it, I'm telling you. Um, we have a dust in here called Cymexa dust. It works really well. It's not an actual poison. What it does, it has really minute particles that cuts the outer layer, um, the cuticle of the insect, not just bed bugs, a lot of different insects. Um, it causes them to dry out and die. They dehydrate and die. This stuff, when you imply, uh, apply it in cracks and crevices, um, I'm gonna show you one place to do it. Um, you know, you can apply it anywhere the label says you can apply it, but when you apply it, it can be there if undisturbed and be working for you in those areas for up to 10 years. So it's good stuff. Cymexa dust, that's C-I-M-E-X-A, I believe. Um, so, you know, Cymexa dust is what we're using and we're also in our B&G sprayer, we have a product called Crossfire. We've been having really good results with the crossfire. Um, so that's what you're going to see. I'm going to turn the camera around on my guy Todd, my technician. You're going to see him using um, crossfire in a BNG. Um, and you need to get a flashlight. And if you'll take a look at this room, everything has basically been stripped. You see here, everything's empty. You're going to have to take drawers out. Um, you know, you're, you, you need to spray, treat everywhere. Um, closets are empty. Um, do have some TVs here. We'll treat around those. Uh, basically all of your curtains, sheets, clothes, anything like that needs to be bagged up needs to be taken to a laundromat because you're, you're, it's going to be hard to do it at home. Although some people have to do it. This this poor lady here, um, she's got a lot of her stuff in the kitchen and bags, but preferably I'd like to see that everything stay outside the house until the treatment's done. Um, you know, she just, she couldn't do it that way. But anyhow, bag everything up, all your clothes, everything like that. Take it to a laundromat. If it's clean, you don't have to wash it again, but throw it in the dryer on high heat um, for about 40 minutes. And that's gonna kill anything that may be in your clothes. You take those bags and do away with those bags. You throw them away, the bags you brought the clothes in. Put everything in new, fresh bags before you bring it home. Um, and try to do all that during the time you're doing the treatment. So you've got everything away from the home, you're getting it, cleaned up, you're getting everything killed if there's anything in your clothes, and you're getting your home treated while that's happening. And don't forget your flashlight. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around on Todd and show him, show y'all how he's treating the seams of these mattresses and how we treat some other areas. <laughs> Mr. Todd right there. You can apply this to the seams. Um, you know, 90% of the time, your bed bugs 
or if they're on the mattress, they're gonna be around those seams. I'll get you when you come down this one right here. You wanna apply it till it's good and wet to that seam. You wanna do every seam all the way around. This is a good area. If you have a tag on a mattress, a lot of times that when you lift that up, they'll be congregated right here. And we'll get everything that we can reach. And then we may have to We'll have to flip the mattress up. And we'll also have to get it up out of the way to where we can get to the bottom uh, box spring mattress and also where we can get the frame, bed frame, because every crack and every crevice has to be treated. And unfortunately, these rooms are very small, so you don't have much room to work and move stuff around. You can see how much room we're working with here, kind of tight quarters. You don't have to you know, some people think you have to throw away your furniture. Um, most of the time I tell people if their furniture is in decent shape, there's no need to throw it away. We can we can treat the furniture, treat the mattresses, um, and take care of the, the problem. However, if it's in bad shape, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and throw it away. Um, but the thing about it is, if you just treat this mattress, you bad bugs could be up there behind that piece of molding. You throw away your bed down here, your mattresses, or you just treat the mattresses, you hadn't done a thing if those bed bugs are up there or in that closet or in this dresser somewhere way back at the back. So you have to be thorough if you're gonna do your home bed bug treatment. This is in some plastic, but it's got holes in the plastic, mm -hmm. so you need to uh, let's get, let's get it to where we're at. Oh, oh. oh, that's it. Oh no, that's a whole frame. It's a frame. It's just stuck in here.
You can see we took the dust cover off the bottom of that mattress uh, where we can get in here. You know, you need to treat every little seam, you know, everywhere. Mm -hmm. All up in here, you just need to, you've got to treat everywhere. They could be in this thing anywhere. This mattress, however, is already broken, but the lady, I don't think he's wanting to throw away her furniture if she can help it, so we're just going to treat it. Got to get it everywhere. Anywhere a bed bug might crawl or hide, you want to treat it. Don't forget to treat, I say you've got to treat everywhere. Mm -hmm. I have seen bed bugs in the head of screws, three or four. Bed bugs come in all different sizes when they, when they hatch, they're real small uh, and they gradually get bigger as they get older. But you've got to hit every screw head, every hole, Everything, every seam, every crack. You just, you need to be really thorough and make sure you head everywhere. That crack right there in that corner. Bed bugs could easily be anywhere in this crack. You can't be afraid to pick stuff up, turn it over, turn it around, upside down, sideways, whatever you got to do to get everywhere. There you go. See how he's hitting the bottom there? They love headboards. These little nail or staple holes like that, that could be holding bed bugs right there. You can either treat this track this way or you could put some dust in there. But the crossfire is a good product, so anywhere you get it, it's, it's going to work. Just remember, as I've said before, the label is the law. Read and follow your label instructions.
don't, uh, a lot of people have a tendency to want to double strength it. Don't double strength it. The label, if the label doesn't call for it, you, use, you can use the maximum label rate or below. Mix it weaker. Don't mix it stronger. You're not really going to do any good any better. And uh, you're going to waste money. And you're going to be applying a product contrary to the label. Okay. You'll see right here. I put some dust in this earlier. But if you don't have dust, you can treat back here with a liquid. Spray enough of it that it's going to run down behind there in that crack. And any bed bugs that are down behind this piece of trim are going to be contacted back. And I always come back and get the bottom. Now on a if you have dust take your covers off if you're not comfortable taking your covers off don't do it i'm not telling you to fool with electricity so don't blame me if you do that and you get shot however you can put dust in these um the reason i like using that duster that I have is everything's plastic. So, you know, if you stick something in there, you're not gonna get shot. But you can just treat around the edge of these. Don't spray it in the outlet. Do not spray water in that outlet. Now, there's a residual chemical around that outlet. If a bed bug comes out of that wall, he's gonna have to crawl across that. And basically, every crack, nook, crack, anywhere, you've got to treat. It is hot in here. Okay, now, you're going to have to take all these drawers out. And you're going to take it, when you get your drawers out, you want to treat them thoroughly. Every crack, you these screw heads. Every seam, every crack, this handle. Uh -huh. Every possible place that you can think of. And when you think you've hit every spot, look again because you've missed something. Show you. We'll generally treat all the drawers first. But now you're going to get in here and you're going to treat everything in here. You don't have to get on your knees. If you can't see, there's enough in here to treat. Turn on some air conditioning. <laughs> All right, let's go out here and I'm gonna show y'all how to treat 
This is why it's important to have a good light. All this is dead casts, skins, and they're just gobbed up skins. In the couch. All right. Treat furniture and treat all your scenes and everything. Dead bows are notorious for getting around any scenes. Um, if they're zippers, they love to get right in here. See how that opens up? Dead bows love these type of areas. And see, that even goes in the mattress. So you're going to make sure that that zip and get this scene treated. All these things. Um, down in the furniture itself, you can take your dust, just a mixer, and get in these cracks. You can do that. That's gonna be there for a long time. It's really effective. You can take your crossfire, treat the scene individually. Um, if it's really, really nice furniture, you might want to kind of check it in an inconspicuous place first to make sure it's not going to cause any staining. Uh, we've never really had a problem with that. But you're just going to do it just like everything else. You're going to get in every crack. I am putting chemical in there. It's just not running out. I'm going to treat every crack, every crevice throughout all the furniture. And that's how you do it, guys. I mean, you just, you know, you can't just come in, say, I'm going to treat my house for bed bugs, and go buy a can of ABC spray for $10 at the hardware store that's labeled for bed bugs and come in and spray them and think you're going to take care of your problem. You're not. You're not going to take care of your problem. You're going to be wasting your money. It's best if you hire a professional to come in and do it for you. Sorry about that. I got cut off. Had a had a phone call. Um, but as I was saying, it's best if you come in and hire, or if you call a professional to do it. However, if you want to do it yourself, you're bound and determined you're going to do it yourself, you use the right product, Use it according to the label, uh, put it out properly and in sufficient quantity, and put it down where it needs to be. You can take care of them yourself. It's just, it's an ordeal. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's about like moving out and having to move back in. Um, but you can take care of them. If you just did say on doing it yourself, I hope I helped you out and kind of gave you a few pointers today. And uh, if you can't take care of it, call Phillips Pest Control in Op, Alabama. 334-493-6199. And I uh, hope everybody's staying safe. And we're in the middle of this coronavirus stuff. We're not slowing down. We're, we, we've been just as busy as ever. Um, you know, people still have bugs, bed bugs, roaches, rodents, ants, uh, termites, yellow jackets. Um, all those things, they don't care about a coronavirus. So we're still out here trying to protect you and your property. Uh, we hope that you stay safe. Um, talk to your pest control man if you're worried about them or if you're worried about your health. I'm sure they'd be proud to do their service on the exterior. Most of your problems are going to come from the exterior anyway. Um, but don't, don't tell your bug man not to come because, you know, you... The, Last thing you want is to be cooped up in the house and then get overrun with insects. Uh, so, you know, you need to stay on top of those things and your pest control person will be proud to come out and perform you an exterior service. And if you have a problem on the inside, I'm sure they'll come take care of it. But y'all, everybody stay safe and thank you very much. And God bless you.